Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to do a uh, short call uh, to speak in favour of the Social Housing Reform Transaction Mandate Bill. And perhaps uh, uh, we might actually have a, a contribution from somebody who was there and participated in the Select Committee as opposed to reading pre-prepared uh, statements of opposition. Uh, which bear very little uh, reality to what we're debating here, Mr Speaker. With respect to this uh, bill, when it came through the Select Committee, as my colleague uh, Matt Ducey in a very considered contribution has already uh, noted, uh, there were only 11 uh, submitters. And, Mr Speaker, at the core of some of their uh, concerns, in my view, related a fundamental misunderstanding around the policy objectives that we're seeking to uh, promote here. And this, this view that um, houses should not be sold because only housing New Zealand have the capacity uh, to provide social uh, housing in this country. For a start, other organisations already do. And, for, and secondly, Mr Speaker, it is looking at the debate through the lot wrong lens. The issue the issue is not who owns the house. The issue is we have 62,000 income related rents. Uh, is that sufficient? This government believes not. We're going to lift it to 65,000. That's 3,000 more people who are going to be supported to be able to be in a warm, dry home because of a demonstrated need than what is it the case today. That is social housing provision and delivery. The debate around who owns the bricks and mortar, who should own the uh, roof, is, a, is a completely uh, uh, the wrong one, Mr Speaker. Uh, and of those uh, uh, 3,000 extra over the ne next three years, Mr Mr Speaker, I'm very pleased to see that uh, 70 are going to be in Tauranga uh, because this, it is a community, because of its high growth, a lot of people moving into it, Mr Speaker, and we do need to ensure that those social housing provisions, those income-related rents, which actually are the core of social housing provision, uh, grow in my community. The only uh, other point, Mr Speaker, I'd like to make in my short call uh, this, this afternoon is, again, this view that only community uh, housing organisations and only community organisations are fit to participate in, uh, in the provision. Uh, a strong sentiment came from a few uh, submitters that if you have a profit motive, if you have shareholders in the provision of your service, then somehow you need to be disqualified because you don't have the capacity to care, you don't have the capacity to deliver outcomes. Well, Mr Speaker, that logic is flawed. It is a nonsense. What counts here is the delivery, the outcome uh, of provision, uh, not how many, not the, uh, the nature of your uh, uh, commercial right. structure. It's the wrong debate, Mr Speaker, and is typified by the response that we've had, uh, particularly from the opposition uh, members through the uh, uh, select committee process. I'm very pleased to support this uh, bill. It's good thinking, it's good policy, and it's going to deliver for Tauranga and New Zealand. Well